What up, Jippers? L plays back once again for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. And we are on the Xbox One X with the new Beyond update. I tried a VR episode yesterday and it blew my freaking mind. I've never experienced anything like it. But now, I know you guys want to see what the game looks like with the new update looking crisp as heck. With all the high-res textures and all of that beautiful stuff. So we're going to try an episode on the 1X and see how we get on. I've just warped into a new system and, I mean, <laughs> looks pretty good. It looks pretty freaking good. Look at this atmosphere that we're in. This is, like, breathtakingly good looking, right? Holy moly. we got, like, a dark red with, like, I don't know, like, the colors kind of run into each other in the background. And then there's this weird, like, bluish tinted electrical stormy kind of cloud thing going on I don't know I like it It looks really cool and it looks like there's a lot of planets here so we're gonna give a couple of little scanner runies uh, terraforming catastrophe that sounds interesting so we're probably gonna check out at least a couple of planets and then probably try and go to the Nexus as well um, and hopefully that's working I've got multiplayer disabled it probably works fine on the Xbox with the multiplayer on but I don't want to play multiplayer at the moment anyway so I'm not too worried about that and just in case there's still any bugs and crashes going I'm gonna avoid it for the time being I've seen loads of patches already being rolled out so hello games are working like ooh, that's the planet that's the one uh, yeah, Hello Games are clearly working like absolute maniacs to iron out all of the bugs and issues that we're seeing. And I've got no doubt that it's going to be pretty smooth and solid fairly quickly. Um, because, I mean, their work ethic is pretty insane. <laughs> they must be exhausted. <laughs> I'm like, I'm kind of mentally exhausted from the excitement. Uh, which is not the same. <laughs> but I mean, I feel it, you know, I feel it. Holy moly, look at this place. So it's like, it, it, it just looks and feels smoother and like, the, oh, the asteroids look way crispier. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at them. Oh, so there's definitely some texture, lighting, and like graphical improvements going on straight away without even landing on a planet. Things just look a lot crisper and smoother, and I like that a lot. My ship is much bigger too. Um, I took off of the planet I started on when I loaded up and walked straight to this system. But like looking at my ship, not in VR, not in VR, it still looks huge, which is pretty cool. I wasn't sure if that would really transfer across um, when you're not playing in VR, but it seems to like the sense of scale is still there for sure. So let's enough jibber jabbering and let's get exploring, which is what we do best. I feel like. Loads of people are starting over and stuff again because I've, I've been watching so much like content. I've been having like uh, YouTube videos and stuff just playing in the background like with not even watching it like just with my headphones in while I've been like busy having to do like real life work stuff um, and it's been like kind of heartbreaking. Why can I not? Oh, have they? Wait, why can I not land? Oh, interesting. This looks like a heck of a planet though. If I, oh yeah, okay, okay, cool. That seems weird. Was that, oh, that's because it's like a hilly, bumpy area. I had to find an actual little, <gasps> the grass is so much better. Oh, I'm so happy that we've got like color and long grass and stuff and better terrain. Like these little, little subtle changes just make such a big improvement for people like me. You know, people that just want to explore. Like that's what I love to do. That's what I feel at home doing. That's my passion in this game. And uh, it's here. It's back, baby. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, what a breathtaking... Oh, yes! Okay, we got Sky Surf. I, like, I, I keep saying this all the time, but I feel like I'm just the luckiest No Man's Sky player. <laughs> this is my first planet, my first new planet touching down in the Beyond update on the Xbox One X. Other than the planet I was already on when I last saved the game playing before, I literally loaded up, took off into space, warped, and I've landed here and just... <laughs> just look at this. Look at those beautiful clouds rolling in with the ring planet in the background and the beautiful long green grass and then sky serpents. <gasps> I, will, I, will, I need to like, I need to figure out if we can ride the sky serpents because the whole pellet thing, we can use bait and stuff, right? To, oh man, it feels like it's performing. The render distance and everything looks way better than I think I remember. Holy moly, look at this. I can, yeah, I can see way, way off into the distance without any popping or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, the grass isn't doing that, like, loading in as I walk thing either. Oh, yes. 
Yes! Okay, this is, performance has definitely been given a nice little boost. And I'm here for it. I am here for it. Let's go take a little walk around. Can I scan those creatures? That will be one of the tests. Oh my gosh! Scanning creatures in the sky is instantly fixed and is super easy now. Yes! Okay, that used to be a real hassle, like trying to scan birds and butterflies and things like that. Now, because you do the lock on with the right, the, uh, right trigger as well, so you L2 to scan, then hold the R2 to like actually lock on and scan, it just clicks on and does it automatically. Oh, that's great. That is very great. I want to read the notes. I want to read the notes in the new... You can click on these planets as well. Somebody was telling me... Oh, yeah. Like, you can just click on the planets. I didn't even realize that in the last episode when I was in VR. So much new stuff in these menus that just looks beautiful. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm, I get so excited about the notes that they've added now. Like, this is a really big deal for me. Being able to, like, go and learn about the creatures and stuff as I explore. Like, because, like, that kind of appealed to me loads when I heard it. And then when I, like, played it and the notes are kind of brief before, I was like, ah, mm, they don't really feel like they, they're meaningful. But now it's, like, catalog this stuff, you know? Like, I'm, I'm actually learning about the creatures of these planets and it means something. It, it doesn't just feel like a random slapped on bit of text. Found on the planet Segate where the temperature climate and frequent rainfall encourage the rapid evolution of new life forms. Powerful lateral muscles allow them to take off with remarkable speed, taking to the air faster than any ground predator could possibly lunge. That's crazy. Like, it, it, it fits. It makes sense. It's the right creature with the right description. And it's like, it's not just a random generic texting. It's so good. Filtering gills inside their cheeks allow them to suck up water and extract nutrients from algal blooms. Interesting. I wonder if you could see that. I wonder if that actually happens. I wonder if they ever like, or even just like hover low, like across the water or something. That'd be interesting. Uh, additional observations, caustic skin. Um, so everyone was telling me that you find out what bait they want here in this menu, but I... I must be being like super dense because I just don't see anywhere that tells me what kind of bait they're interested in. So I need to try and figure that out. Um, so if you know how to do that, <laughs> then let me know. Because I want to ride creature. Oh! Okay, these butterflies are way better than butterflies I've ever seen in my life. I am like, come on, come on. Beautiful paradise, grassy, earthy color planet with butterflies. Flying sea serpents. Sea serpents? That would be cool. Sky serpents. I mean, they do live off algal, algae, so, I mean, sea serpents, sky serpents. What? But yeah, like, what? <laughs> like, this is two in a row now. Two different platforms. First planet I touched down, beautiful grassy paradise with cool creatures. But, like, both times. I just, you couldn't make this up. This is great. Um, okay, we've got, these are, like, super lime green neon butterflies, and I'm, I'm, I am all about it. I am all about that. That is absolutely magnificent. And they are definitely way improved. Okay, I'm going to bait them. I'm going to bait them. I, I need to know if this properly works. Creature bait. Let's throw some pellets. Oh my freaking gosh, it does. It actually works. They're going for it. They're eating the little pellet off the floor. Oh, I could probably tame a butterfly. I could be L plays the tamer of butterflies, supreme gek overlord, ruler of all of the galaxies. This is this is fantastic. Oh my gosh, look at these views. Butterflies, giant snakes, beautiful clouds, grass, trees, ships. <laughs> the, perfor the performance for me is incredible right now. I am not seeing any stutter, any popping, any rendering issues. Nothing. It is smooth, like silky, silky smooth. And this is on the Xbox One X on day two of the update. I think I'm on 2.04. I think that's what just downloaded before I started playing. This is like the second or third, second patch they pushed out. I know there's already a 2.5 on the way that's gone out to PC on Experimental as well. So they are patching fast. But dang, like this is, this is good. <laughs> this is good. This is, <gasps> what, the, what do the notes say for the, um, for the butterfly? Can I, is there, um, I wonder if there's an easy way to like go from here to instantly jumping to the the but like the butterflies notes instead of going to the catalog. I'm not sure if there is. Hmm. Okay, we're on this one. 
We were on Seagate. Oh, I love this new menu. It's just so much better. Uh, I won't read all of these all the time, but right now I'm just freaking hyped about it. Like this is, I, honestly, I think this is one of my favorite little additions that they've added with this update. VR, blown my mind, completely changed my entire life. Best gaming experience I've ever had. And I don't think anything's going to top that in the next five years, to be honest. But like in terms of gameplay mechanics and stuff, this is one of the things that I'm really excited about right now. Maybe it will wear off. Maybe they'll start to repeat or something. I don't know. But at the moment, this is great for me. Makes it home in the fields of Planet Seagate. Uh, highly intelligent for such a small animal. That's what they say about me. Except the intelligent part. Uh, <laughs> they appear to be entirely aware of their physical limitations. Pugnium-infused teeth allow them to consume and digest Gravitino balls. Like, this is genuinely interesting, right? These notes are, like, cool. Like, this is interesting stuff to, like, read. And it actually feels like I'm learning about a real creature. Like, a real alien creature that isn't just some, like, random procedurally generated X thing. Like, this feels... It just makes it feel so much more alive. And that's so weird. Because this isn't something I... Like, any of my speculation. Anything you'd have asked me of, like, top 50,000 wishlist features... This is probably something I just wouldn't have even thought to mention. But seeing it in here has me so excited. Like, more than most of the other stuff, honestly, apart from VR. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. I need to stop, like, fanboying out. <laughs> Let's get to it. I know people want to explore. We'll see if the performance holds up and everything. But it is looking smooth. I did, I dropped into the settings. You can now turn off the scan lines. And the vignette and all that sort of stuff. Not not just a VR thing. You can do that in the normal game in the video options on console. So I did that straight away. I turned motion blur off. I turned vignette and scan lines off. Don't want any of that. And I've got it on high quality. You can change this to like performance. So if you are having issues, you could switch it to performance rather than so like prioritizing whether you want quality graphics, performance, all that sort of stuff. Um, and I want quality. Um, I have to restart for it to affect, but I'm not changing it, so that's fine. But yeah, that's cool that you've got like some more options for stuff now. Oh, this is cool. What? Oh, dude. What are you? What creature is this? Oh, look at this guy. Okay. Oh, we can definitely feed this one, right? I can throw some pellets and see if... Oh, yeah. We can see if we can actually tame one. I, I, I haven't done that yet. I have... Oh, my gosh. They fly very low now. Ah! Get out of here, fool. I'm in creative mode, so I can't die. But <laughs> for some reason, I still get really scared. <laughs> they fly uh, really low now. They look cool, too. They look much cooler. They look a lot less rigid than they were. Look at that. Look at that. Oh! Oh, we got loads more creatures here. I didn't even notice. Oh, the herds definitely seem bigger now, right? I'm seeing a lot of... I saw some big herds before. Before the update. But, like, I'm seeing them a lot. Like, pretty much every time I've seen a group of animals, there's been more than just, like, four of them. You know? There's been loads of them. Oh, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Where was the big boy? There was a, which one was the big looking fellow? Let's just start throwing bait and uh, we'll see if we can ride one. I want to go and uh, customize my character as well at some point. I don't know if we'll do that in this episode or not, but maybe. We'll see. I think I need to use advanced bait from what I'm seeing. So advanced bait, I'm guessing, is like one of the, the last category. One of these ones. Oh, hello. And I'm waiting for it to pop up to say that I've tamed a creature. That's... Oh. Oh my gosh, look at his little bioluminescent nose thing. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, look at them. They definitely look a lot smooth. Oh, big poop. Oh my gosh, floating poop. Can I pick that up? Yes. <laughs> Fecium, I like that. I like. Oh my gosh, they are pooping all over the place. Get out of here, you damn stinkers. Uh, right, I need to I need to keep throwing bait. I need to keep I need to get the hang of like all these menus and stuff. So bear with me. Uh, it's all new to me. It's a whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. Okay, they didn't like that one, huh? <laughs> They're just like, yeah, great. Why are you throwing this at me? <laughs> I'll have you know that was uh, considered a delicacy in other planets. Uh, let's go for this one. Ground meat. They look like they would eat ground ground meat. I really need to figure out where it is that it tells you what they like. Offer food. Creature pellets. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got the creature pellets. What are you talking about? Can I, like, hotkey these things? These creature pellets. Hmm. 
I don't think I can. Uh, let's go... So, which one didn't I try? This one? The pheromone thing? Nobody's seen it. They, I think they're eating that pheromone one. Is this going to work? I'm so excited to ride a freaking creature, and I cannot figure out how to do this. God dang it. Let me ride you. Let me mount you, creature. That did not sound how I want. Whoa, but okay, the butterflies are having a great time. These guys, not so much. Uh, nobody is eating any of this food that I'm throwing. None of them. They're like, they just don't care at all. Um, how about this? Come on. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I'm a fool. It says it right there. Fermented fruit. Fermented fruit. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, we figured that out. That's good news. <laughs> I don't know. How, I'm so sorry. I don't know how long I just wasted doing that. But we're learning together. We're Like, everything is... Oh, my freaky deaky What was that? Oh, it's that thing. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to safety. Even though I'm in creative mode, I'm still scared. So, we are going to go fermented fruit. Fermented fruit. Oh, look at them. They all love me. Come to your saviour. I've got a little army of critters and I love it. Okay, fermented fruit. It's there. I'm just going to start throwing ferment. Oh, yes. I tamed a creature. I tamed three creatures, four creatures. I tamed an army of creatures. Collect milk. Mount! Mount! Oh! I'm riding him. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's moving on his own. He's moving all by himself. I'm, I can control him too, I think, but I can just let him ride. Oh! Oh, yes! Okay, let's go into, uh... Oh! <laughs> Wait, there we are! There's my little Gek Hero riding along! Oh, it looks so good! I can just sit back and watch him ride! Look at me go! And I've got the freaking sea serpents in the background! Oh, I need to get the camera in a better position! There we go! Oh, that's crazy! Oh, that is crazy! Oh, that's... Okay, that has made me... <laughs> I'm very pleased with this. I'm, I'm okay. I like this. <laughs> Another new feature. I'm now very, very excited about. I was super excited as soon as I saw this, uh, but that's cool. That is definitely cool. Oh my gosh! What a little beauty! <laughs> I wish I was good at taking pictures. I feel like this opens up so many incredible opportunities for taking like the coolest looking freaking epic pictures ever. And then there's just me, like who, who just can't do that. <laughs> Because I'm useless. I'm useless at taking pictures. Uh, but I mean, dang. Like, oh, how cool is this? How cool is this? Okay, let's, let me, uh, can I actually, con I don't know if I can control it, you know. Huh! Oh, I jumped off of it. I don't think I can, uh, I don't, th I don't think I was controlling it. I think I was just riding on it. I think, anyway. Unless I have to, like, uh, is there something I have specific that I have to do? Oh, no, I don't, I, I'm not sure, can I? Oh, I can, I, I'm to I can steer it. So I just go right or left, and then he walks forward on his own. Okay, cool, I got the hang of that then. Oh, I can just walk him off of a cliff. <laughs> I, would, I would never, but I do want to go check out this beautiful red ocean. Down the hill! He does not want to go down the hill. He is like, resisting. Stop resisting! Okay, uh, we're gonna go... I, want, I really want to get a picture of me riding a creature. I'll probably do... I'll have to do that, like, off-camera, because I'm gonna spend, like, a year taking pictures of that. <laughs> How cool is that? We rode a creature. We rode a freaking creature, and now we're gonna go for a little swim. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. So this is what underwater looks like when you're not in VR. Looks crisp, sounds crisp, everything looks... Performance has been great for me so far. Not had any issues at all. Nothing. Not even, like, a slight little stutter or anything. Ooh, we got some of those little fishies over there. Uh, scan. This, uh, I love the new scanning. It's so much better. It's so much better than it was before. You literally just, bam, auto locks on and just scans it way quicker. And, like, you can move it around and you don't lose the scan. Like, I can look anywhere I want. And it just makes it so much easier to get stuff that's moving. Definitely a big fan of that. Definitely a big fan of that. Oh, yucko. Um, oh, does they ha do they have, do fish, no, look, I don't do fish have a, uh, a bait? No, there's no bait, no, on the fish, so you can't, um, ride on ocean creatures, which kind of makes sense, because you would drown, <laughs> but it would still be cool, right? So I'm guessing I probably can't tame a flying creature too, although, 
I kind of want to look into that just to make sure because if I could fly on, on one of those snakes, how cool would that be? Come on, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, we un the underwater is beautiful. We have got a nice red. This is like, oh, like this is one heck of a planet. Like, come on. Come on. All the new plants and things and stuff as well that look cool. You don't realize how much they're like the little tiny touches make such a big difference. And then, but it's just like that you just get that feeling that everything just feels better now, like it's more interesting. Oh, that's cool. I like the little sound of the water as I'm running through it. <laughs> My little gek! My little gek! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and take some pictures of me riding on the creature, and you'll probably see that as the thumbnail for this video, so you'll know if I ended up taking a good picture or not. <laughs> Probably won't. I'm useless. I'm absolutely useless. But then we'll come back. Um, I think I want to go to another planet. We've seen a beautiful grassy planet. Um, I like it. It's good. I might have a little wander around here on my own just because it's so pretty. But I want to show you guys a bit more like different stuff too. So yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, we are back and I am floating around in space because we're going to go to a space station. I did get a ton of pictures of me riding on that beautiful little buddy boy creature. I don't know if any of them are actually going to be good. But I feel like some of them were, so we'll see. <laughs> I wanted to show you the first person view in the spaceship, not in VR. Because just look at this. My beautiful, beautiful ship. My little shipper jipper. The master of clouds. Everything displayed perfectly on the little huds and the displays. The freaking flight controls. Everything is there. And it looks... It just looks great. Like this... It just... I don't know. Like the, the new... Cockpits, the new third person, uh, first person like uh, interior views are so much more immersive than anything that was in the game before. I just freaking, even the little wires, the little wires coming down from the freaking glass and everything, it just looks great. I'll be interested to see if like different ships look vastly different inside or if they all look pretty similar. I don't know, but right now this is just really freaking cool. I wanted to go into a space station because I haven't actually been inside a regular space station and then we've got another beautiful planet to go to and then I'm going to try and go to the Nexus as the last thing. So we'll have done like so many of the new things in this episode and soaked a load of it in. It will be a longer episode, but I'm just like, I just don't want to stop playing whenever I jump in at the moment. So that's fine. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go. We're gonna fly in to the space station for the first time. I don't think. Yeah, I didn't do this in VR. I only went to the Nexus. So this is my first ever space station in VR. All I know is there's a new ramp. There's a new ramp to get up there. <laughs> like anyone ever uses the ramp. <laughs> but there is a new one. We're gonna try it just because it's new, and then I'm gonna go back to always jetpacking up there. <laughs> I love that view, the freaking interior view, and the photo mode filters. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. Oh, okay, here we go. And while we're here, um, we can change our look of our little Gek Hero as well. So here we are. We're in. So this is the new ramp over here, right? So before it's just that one on the back. Uh, now you've got like kind of more options of easy ways to get up there. But we're all gonna jetpack still, right? Are we agreed? Are these, so I'm interested to see if these <laughs> sales get, oh, they've got new outfits and stuff, right? Uh, I'm interested to see if any of them are, yeah, yes, they're walking around. We have NPCs walking around and actually doing things, which I've never seen before. I didn't get a chance to see that when I was playing in VR because I left the Nexus straight away to go exploring. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're little Gek, my little Gek friend is just walking around. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. And they do this on planets. You can find creatures and aliens and NPCs just walking around on planets and go talk to them and get missions from them and stuff. Oh, that's great. That's so good. It just, oh, everything just feels more alive. This is what I'm talking about. These tiny things that don't seem like a huge deal. The world just feels more alive now. The world, the universe just feels more alive now. I love it. I'm so... I'm so <laughs> I was really worried that like because I was playing in VR and it is honestly the best thing. Please, please do yourself the the favor of trying to experience No Man's Sky in VR. Even if you don't have it, try and find a friend or a VR arcade or something, some way to at least try it out because it is absolutely phenomenal. And of course, if you're coming to the No Man's Sky UK meetup in Guildford this weekend on Saturday at the Three Pigeons. 
Um, I will be there with the PS4 Pro and the PSVR headset all set up so that you can try it out if you come to that as well. But if you're not one of those people, then just just tr please give it a try uh, because I, I don't think anything has ever compared to it for me, honestly. Okay, so so things are moving around. This is very cool. I don't want to spend ages in the station, even though it's kind of new and exciting. I'll probably do a bit of exploring around here kind of on my own off camera in slower time. But I do want to change... Um, my mm, no ships coming in. I've got multiplayer turned off, um, but I would expect to still see NPC ships flying in. Maybe I guess maybe they're less regular or something. But let's go and change our look. I wonder if there's new stuff. I don't know. There might there might be like loads of new stuff here. I've never even I didn't even think about that. Like I know there is going to be new stuff. I think some of it's going to be unlocked through the community missions, like the new Furby heads and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Fur they literally look like Furbies, so. eh? Uh, I am definitely being a geck. My body shape is pretty good. Oh, little thick boy. Uh, I quite like... What do we think? I don't want to be a really scrawny geck. I definitely don't want to be a Gibson geck. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I like my body shape. Orange, orange. There we go. That'll do for now. Close enough. <laughs> it's like a budget geck boy. <laughs> I really wish, like, I want to cosplay as a gang so bad. I feel like that would be freaking awesome to do. One day. One day I'll figure out a good way to actually make that happen. Uh, so no ships landing in here, which seems odd. That doesn't seem, like, normal to me. I don't know if there's something going on there. Have you guys seen ships landing in space stations? It could be because I've got networks turned off. Maybe that affects it in some way. I don't really know. Uh, so we're going to go to this freaking beautiful looking, not that one, that's the one we already went to. We're gonna go to the other freaking view. I am so lucky with some of the stuff that I find. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, it's behind the freaking station. Get out of here, station fool! Uh, so this planet here, it looks like it's gonna be, I'm not even gonna scan it. I don't even wanna know what type of planet it is. It's just gonna be a surprise. We're gonna go down there, and then hopefully when we get there, it's gonna be something pretty special. That's the plan. That's the plan. And then we'll have a quick potter around here and then maybe end on the Nexus. I feel like that'd be a good, a good episode, a good first episode, not in VR, taking in loads of the new stuff. That freaking planet that we started on, absolutely magnificent. I am so, so blessed when it comes to finding these beautiful planets. And I'm in Euclid on creative mode. So when I do go back to my PS4 normal mode, say, which is in uh, Essantium or Isentum or however you say it, <laughs> uh, when I go back there, there's, if it's still the same, there's a much higher chance of finding beautiful planets like paradise planets in that galaxy, which is why I went there in the first place. Because uh, that's what I love. They're my favorite type of planets. This looks... Okay, this is not what I was expecting at all. This looks like a... It's hard to tell until you get close, but it looks like it's going to be like a deserty clay type planet. That's good. We don't want all the same kind of planets, right? So let's go down. Oh, flying around in first person is so freaking cool. So freaking cool. Look at this. Yeesh. Okay. Oh, is this one of the, um... This is like the Atlas Rises planet, right? With the uh, cactus and all that. Remember the Atlas Rises trailer? Oh, welcome to No Man's Sky. Oh, freaking, I missed that voice. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, this is one of the kind of Atlas Rises, like, specialty type planets. It looks cool, though, right? It looks pretty cool. I want to go... Hmm... I think I want to go back into first person mode for the time being. Oh, did I not do that properly? Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Can I not do that? Why would that not let me do it? Is that... Huh! It's not letting me go into first person mode now. That's... Okay, that's an issue. Huh, that must be one of the bugs then, huh? Alright, well, that's fine. <laughs> See if I care! <laughs> Alright, alright. I guess we'll just have to stare at the beautiful Gek. What can you say? <gasps> teeny tiny little... Look at this guy! That is absolutely tiny. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, do you know what I haven't tried to do? I haven't tried to play with the HUD turned off. Uh, Where's HUD? Where's HUD? Have they changed the, the like place for everything? General options. That's where the HUD is, right? Yes! Okay. Turn the HUD off. Probably a terrible idea. There we go. The HUD is off. Oh, please let me go into first person mode. Why is that? That's so strange that that doesn't let me change to first person mode. Oh, look at that! Atmospheric! We've got no HUD on. We're just walking around with no display on this crazy... This is weird. This is like a pretty eerie, spooky looking planet, right? 
Oh, I love the sound of my footsteps. Are there any creatures here? I didn't, uh, I didn't even check. Oh, I turned the head off. <laughs> what idiot? <laughs> well, I was like, oh, just pull, pull up the analysis visor and scan the floor. Not with the HUD disabled, I won't. Do we want to go into a cave? No, I don't want to go. Oh, it's not a cave anyway. It's just a big hole. I fell into a cave in VR and um, I almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> I'm not even making that up. It's quite embarrassing. <laughs> I was like, oh, what an idiot. But it was fun. It was a fun experience. That's what I'm telling myself. Why are these purple, by the way? They are purple, right? I feel like purple is not um, usual. I'm going to put the HUD back on because it, I'm kind of finding it a bit disorientating not having the hood on in the, when everything is completely different when the world has changed oh that was cool timing oh look at us our little creative mode save adorable adorable okay i don't think there are any creatures on this planet by the looks of it so we are gonna go to the nexus and we'll end things there and hopefully hopefully the nexus is like working okay at the moment fingers crossed i haven't tried it on xbox but um i know some people have been having issues so yeah let's see how it goes okay we are back and i have summoned in the space anomaly we are going to try this we're going to see if we can enter the nexus without having any issues so far my performance has been absolutely flawless on xbox so if the nexus is the only issue that i've still got i'm not too worried about it it looks good oh it looks sort of like i can appreciate how good it looks on the xbox one x it like this is the level of detail in this compared to like a regular space station is freaking insane. It feel, I don't know what it is, but they, they've absolutely nailed that sci-fi feeling for the Nexus. It genuinely feels like some kind of, almost like a little mini space city or something. With all the little aliens in it and all the crazy stuff all around. I freaking love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. Look at it. I... I the freaking, uh, the filmic filter in photo mode is like the best thing. I've forgotten how I used to, you used to be able to play with, like, you turn the filters on and then keep them on. I am so tiny! My little tiny geck is absolutely adorable! Oh my gosh, look at him! <laughs> oh, that is cool. What a beautiful little fellow. <laughs> Oh, I'm so attached to the gag, but there's just something so brilliant about them. So freaking brilliant. Okay, let's go and explore the Nexus for the first. It looks like it's going to be okay. I could probably turn multiplayer on. I feel like performance has been absolutely great. Like, not a single issue at all for me. Uh, but I don't know. I'm, I'm still a bit apprehensive about doing it. Have I got some sort of, uh, like, brightness thing on right now? I feel like I have. It feels a bit brighter than normal. Uh, maybe turn the gamma down a little? Yeah, that, it looks kind of it looks kind of bright, right? I don't. It could be my uh, my PC monitor has some weird settings that I sometimes switch to. Uh, it could be that. I don't know. Okay, this looks. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Doesn't, it feels like real sci-fi, doesn't it? Like this is totally some sort of sci-fi movie that I've just walked into. So that's the little uh, Nexus mission system. I can go to that to pick up new missions. Uh, these, so let's see if I can actually talk to these things and do anything with them. Uh, yes, yes, I was a, a perfect fit. Ask about this place. Yes, let's ask about the Nexus. Polo and Nara. Okay, yeah, they probably are. But I mean it when I say you are a perfect fit here. Of course I am. The Gek's a perfect fit anywhere. Especially my little teeny tiny Gek. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, so everything, so this seems to be running perfectly fine for me. It, I've got multiplayer turned off, not having any issues at all. Seems to be great. Do we want to try and turn on multiplayer? I, I, yeah, let's do it. Let's just see what happens. If it crashes, it crashes, right? We'll just see if it works. Okay, I've turned on multiplayer. I don't know what that's going to do. It could crash the game completely. I've got no idea. <laughs> we'll find out if the recording just ends here. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. We got the little uh, curtains over here looking cool as heck. I love all the new stuff they've added in these things. Oh my gosh. Cronus. Look at that head. I hope we unlock some of these parts for like body type. Oh, he's got the little blob creature. Oh, adorable. Adorable. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. 
So I don't see any other players, but I don't know if like it, once you turn on multiplayer, are you supposed to restart or something? Who knows? Who? F I'm probably in like the middle of nowhere as well. Oh wait, no, I'm in the Nexus though, right? So that's that brings you together. Oh man, the Nexus looks really cool. I really love the way the Nexus looks. Should we? I kind of want to pick up a mission and see how that actually works. Okay, so let's have a look. The Nexus Mission Terminal. Uh, we can take... Uh, oh, we get cool... To, oh, we get... Oh, you can get nanites this way. Eliminate hazardous flora. Tame wild creatures. Unearth ancient bones. I feel like eliminate hazardous flora is one for us. The Gex shall exterminate the Jipper Snappers. I haven't seen a single Jipper Snapper plant at all. Ready up. What does that mean? Oh, okay. I'm, oh! Oh, that's it telling everyone that I'm starting a mission. I've started a mission. I've started a mission, and then it sends out a notification to anyone else that's online to say, L Plays Gaming has started a mission, and then other players can just randomly join me, and we can do the mission together. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, I feel like uh, turning multiplayer on like mid-gameplay mid hasn't worked properly though. Like Maybe I feel like I need to restart with multiplayer on for it to properly work. I don't know, but I'm not having any crashes or anything in the Nexus at all. This whole experience on the Xbox has been smooth as heck. Not a single issue at all. So that is a very good sign. A very good sign. Let's go and check out one of... I'm spoiling you. I said I was going to end in the Nexus, but I just cannot resist going to one more planet. And I did see it. It was that blue planet on the way in. It looks very appetizing to me. So we've got to go take a little... Where am I? Oh yeah, I forgot that you like zoom out of the Nexus. So that, so that's good. It looks like performance in the Nexus was fine for me. It didn't have a single problem. Happy days. Happy days. Like they were they were they are really like churning out these fixes and stuff because there were like two patches that came out like three, four in the morning, uh, UK time, like the day the update dropped. Like they they're probably still awake now, like just 24, 48 hour just straight working on the game which is just insane well, i hope they like get a chance to take a break pretty quickly they've probably got some sort of like shift thing going on right how long does this thing take is this supposed to take a while oh i think i s no okay good okay good phew i think i saw somebody saying they had an issue with that they got stuck in that animation but mine was fine okay that's good uh i'm still am i still in this no oh Oh my gosh, I'm, that's taken me to a new system to do the mission. I guess I'm not going to that blue planet that we saw then. Ha! Huh. Okay, oh, there's a lot of cool looking planets here too though. There's a red one, a green one, a little tiny moon, which will probably be beautiful, and this big one behind me. I'm going to go to this green one. Do I want to go to that one? Paradise planet! Paradise freaking planet! What? is this luck oh my gosh another paradise planet this one's actually cool i don't even know i don't know what the other one was classed as i was too excited just looking at it but this one's actually classed as a paradise planet oh <laughs> i am loving this update i am loving and i feel like obviously i'm just scratching the surface I'm like just kind of scraping away at some of the cool things in it. I haven't even started looking at the base building and all the crazy new machinery. I did milk a creature. I milked a creature. We'll do that here as well. I milked a creature when I was trying to take my pictures of me taming the creature and riding on him. Um, I did milk one. I got my first bit of milk. <laughs> it's just wild. There's like cooking and recipes that we can upload and, and like cook for other people and stuff. Oh my gosh, we are in a fog storm. Can I like outrun the storm? Oh my gosh, look how swish flying low on the planets is. Oh, this is terrifying. I'm completely blind. Oh, that's scary. Okay, flying at high speed through the fog is quite... Oh, that's going to be good in VR. I'm so doing that when I get back into VR. A lot of trees here. Some different... Some very, I'm going to land. I'm going to land. There are some very varied looking trees by the looks of it. I can't believe we just found another freaking paradise planet. I love this game. It is raining. Oh my gosh, what a storm. Is that a jipper snapper plant? They're not gone. Okay, oh, whoa, whoa. They're not attacking me, though. Oh, interesting. That didn't attack me. That is definitely... It looks like a dead jipper snapper plant, but it is a jipper snapper plant, so they've not been removed from the game. 
I kind of like, people were saying they were gone and I was like, HA! And then I was like, I feel kind of bad. Because, it's like deep down, they're a part of the game. They're a part of me. <laughs> Freaking jippers. Oh! Hello, porcupine boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Uh, I want to scan the spiky boy. Where's spiny boy? Where'd he go? Hello, spiny boy. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. He is a prickly fat. He likes scented herbs. Scented herbs. Okay, we can definitely tame him and ride him if we want to. Uh, but I just want to take... Which one am I on? I'm on this one, right? I want to take a look at his description. Uh, found on the planet Rien XIX, where the temperature, climate, and frequent rainfall encourage... Like, they're all so accurate! Like, oh, I, I'm so pleased with this. I was thinking, like, maybe I'd start finding some that kind of like, eh, not sure about this one, but they all look so good. Like, they look like someone's actually written them, rather than they're just, like, proceed... They must be... They're obviously coming from, like, a huge pool of procedural options, and they're, like, tagging in uh, bits, like, relevant bits, like the planet name, planet biome type and stuff, and pulling it together but it works flawlessly and it's just been dropped right so they can probably build on that and add more as well in the future but it just this is cool <laughs> uh, the frequent rainfall encourages the rapid evolution of new life forms natural high stamina serves them well as they wander walking countless miles oh my gosh i've just freaking realized that if i look in the bottom left corner there i can see the planet that i'm on uh, and the moon that moon that was outside this planet you can actually see it there in the corner Orbiting around, just like spinning around the planet. Oh, I hadn't even noticed that. That's cool. There are so many little things that I'm just noticing. Like, there's so much more that I need to delve into here. Like, all of the menus completely revamped, completely overhauled. All of the new tech trees, all of the new, like, skill trees and everything. New missions. New, ev like, everything is new. There's just so much stuff to do and explore and learn about right now. And that's before I even look at construction. Like, what? <laughs> what in the world? This is freaking great. Oh, I love this freaking new user interface. Like, all the new menus and stuff look so much, so, so much better than they were. Okay. Okay. What, what did he like again? He liked scented herbs. Uh, okay. We'll call him Peaceful Gamer. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Let's go for scented herbs. Oh, okay. That's a... Uh, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Are they gonna fight for it? I love the way they all just go running over. Like, oh, they work like really fluidly. I thought this is like one of the new things that would probably have a load of issues and stuff, but it seems to work really well. Uh, can I, I can mount him. Yeah, okay, here we go. We are on a spiky boy. Oh, I hope this storm clears though. Oh, oh, we can cheat, can't we? We can look at the planet in, uh, in photo mode, right? Oh my gosh, look at this place. Holy moly. I love like the, uh, oh, that looks cool. That, look, that looks freaking beautiful, look at that. The, uh, the ringed planet in the background. Just, just so magnificent. Oh, I even noticed we had freaking dragonflies here too. Oh, that's cool. Okay, all right, let me, let me keep riding my little fellow. Uh, oh, I jumped off of him, whoops. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd have to feed him again to, uh, that's why we rode him for a second. I want to try and walk around. Uh, do we want to? Let's try out a vehicle. Let's try out a vehicle very quickly and see if the first person view in vehicles is working. Because I saw some people saying that was only working in VR, which was interesting. That, there's no way that that's uh, meant to be the case. Why can't I summon this? Uh, oh, I'm just trying, I need to build the... What a dummy, what a dummy dum dum. I need to build the actual thing. How do I build the thing? Have I just like, have I forgotten it? Oh, I know, I know. It's tech, exocraft. There we go, and again, I need to get used to all the menus and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go with the pilgrim this time because I tried out the, um, I tried out the nomad when I was in VR. That did not, why did I, I did not press the right button. Uh, place, place, place. Am I pressing the wrong button? Is it a different button to place on Xbox? Yes, it is. R2, okay. Uh, oh, boy. Look at this beauty. Oh, wait, but it wasn't even letting me switch to first person normally, was it? Okay. 
Uh, I don't. Uh, maybe this one doesn't have first person. Who knows? Okay, let's go for a little, uh, a little zip around on the uh, the old Pilgrim sci-fi motorbike machine. I really wanted to stop raining. I wanted to stop raining and see this planet in the daytime because it looks crazy. Look at all these different types of trees and stuff. Oh, if I don't knock them all down, that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to wait here until it's daytime and it's stopped raining. And we'll just take a quick glimpse at it before I end the episode. Because I feel like it's... Oh! The storm's clearing as I say that. As I say that, it just magically starts to clear. Look at that. Oh, that looks really cool. How atmospheric does that look? Look at... Oh my freaking gosh. Look at that. This is absolutely beautiful. I've, I'm super, super impressed with the Xbox performance and everything. Like, I've not had a single problem. First time playing it on Xbox, I was thinking there's definitely going to be some issues, right? Like, for sure. And it runs like an absolute dream. I feel like I'm playing on, like, a high-end PC compared to how No Man's Sky... <gasps> oh, that view! If I can get all of that in one picture, like, the bike and the planet... Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like I can do it. I can do it. Oh my gosh, look at that! Oh, that's beautiful. That, look at that! Okay, that is a cool picture. That is, oh gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I think that right there is a good place to end this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed my first No Man's Sky Beyond experience without using VR. This is on the Xbox One X. I didn't have a single issue. Day two after the update. And I haven't had a single problem at all on the Xbox. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm happy. It is a good time to be a No Man's Sky fan. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed that one, guys. I will definitely catch you in the next one for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. But until then, take care of yourselves. And peace. Of course, before we end the video, I want to give an absolutely huge shout out for those Patreon supporters that have stuck with me. Akak, Anarchy, Dale from the Atlas Hub, Fuchsia, Jeremy J, Joannes A, J Technique, Kyle Culver, Lukash M, Lyle, Mac for a Day, Mark F, Mark D, Mingri, NTB, Ongrad, Autumn Long, Rasmus K, Technical Gaming 101, The Golden Geck, Todd C, Todd H, Vanilla, and Oivind S. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for continuing to support me.